Well, good afternoon. I have just woken up from my afternoon nap, but I decided, hey, street food would be pretty nice. So we decided you know to what? check out a local market. Korean street food is a good idea any time of day, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, so we're at the Mangwon Market. This is a really cool market here in Seoul. It's not one of those popular touristy markets. It's very much a local market. It's nearby Hapjong and also Hongdae area. Um, and so we're just gonna go check it out. We're gonna show you guys what you can find here as well as sample a whole bunch of different Korean street food here in Seoul. So, Let's do exciting it. times. Let's start eating. So we're starting off with uh, the Tonewon menu, the 1001 menu. This should be awesome. Uh, yes, yeah. yeah. Got it right here. Let's see it. This one's for you. It was cheaper. It was only 500 won. Are you serious? It was 500 won. Oh, big won for that. Yeah, look, look at, at that. that. So it looks like a donut, but it's actually a croquet. I saw that when I ordered. Oh, so a okay. pumpkin croquet. So we were way off. But hey, I love same. I love getting a deal. This is like literally half price of what I thought. All right, let's dig in. So let's try this. I've never had this before. This yeah. is this is fascinating for me because I've tried most Korean street food, but I've never tried this. I'm curious to see if it's going to be savory or sweet. Mm. It's actually both? kind of both. It's a little bit sweet, but it's also savory. Like it's. So I guess I gotta the, have another the dough, bite. The dough is probably more savory since it's been deep fried. Yeah. And then the pumpkin mm. would be sweet. I'm looking at this. Give us, give us a good look. You can see, really see the pumpkin here. Mm. You can really see the pumpkin here. Look at that. That almost looks like curry. Mm. Yeah, it's. I'm actually gonna correct myself. It's a bit more savory than it is sweet. So. More savory than sweet. All right. Well, you're clearly enjoying it. It's like falling out of your mouth. Wolfing it down over on. here. Okay, so you want to tell us what you ordered? Yeah, absolutely. We're having dokboki, which is basically my all-time favorite Korean street food snack. So let's take a look down here. I'll give you a tour. So the dokboki part here is basically the Korean rice cakes in the gochujang yeah. sauce, the spicy red pepper sauce. And then you also have fish cakes. And then over here, I ordered something called duigim, which is the basically the fried battered objects that come along with it. Objects, it's mostly vegetables no, though. <laughs> so I have like uh, mandu. Okay, and a this, dumpling. This one's called yache, which is different vegetables. And then okay. over here, we also have... I think there's sweet potato yes, somewhere in there. sweet potato, pumpkin, which right? is a kokuma. Oh. So can't wait to try all that. All so right. I'm going to start off with the dough cookie. In. Here we go. One big piece of rice cake. That's a giant size rice cake. It's like extra yeah. long. Oh, much soil. soil. Very delicious. Korean tteokbokki chego. Yeah, very good. Much <laughs> soil. Oh, that's awesome. Such good tteokbokki. And now we're gonna try the jjigim. Okay. So I'm taking the sweet potato piece here. I'm gonna take mm -hmm. it for a swim here in the gochujang sauce. sauce. Yep. And okay, let's try that. <laughs> a little messy over there. Don't burn yourself. A little bit too big of a bite. <laughs> it's like fresh out of the deep fryer. Uh, That's my favorite duigim. Yeah. If you're gonna try one kind of duigim in Korea with your dokbokki, make sure you get the kokuma, you get the sweet potato. It's just so good, so sweet, so delicious. And it tastes so good when it's crispy. So before I gobble all of the duigim and dokbokki, why don't I uh, share a little with you? Share a little. So I'm going to add some sauce to mine. So this is pretty cool. It's kind of like a spicy soy chili sauce with sesame seeds. Oh yeah. So you can either use a spoon Just if you want to get over. lots of it. Or you can use this little 
brush and like just paint the duigum. That's awesome. So and you're it gives try it a lot more flavor, just makes it spicier. You're gonna try the duigum then? Yeah. Which one do you have? Mandu. Mandu. Mm. How's that? It's nice and spicy now. It's good. I like it a lot better with the sauce. It gives it more flavor. So even though you can find lots of street food here, that's not the only thing they sell at this market. You can also get lots of fresh produce, fruits, vegetables. They have butchers. You can buy clothes. You can buy school supplies. So a little bit of everything. There's definitely lots of variety here. So which package are you getting, Audrey? I guess this one, the little ones. Oh. Onion cups. Oh. I forgot to count my money. It's 2001. So what did you get, Audrey? So I got myself some little rice cakes. I'm not gonna eat them right now because we've been having a lot of street food. I'm taking this home for later as a little snack. They come in different colors, but the filling is often the same for all of them. Um, might be red bean paste. That's what it usually is with the bigger ones. I'm not sure with the little ones, so. Yeah, they have different fillings and these are called dok. And I think these might be songpyeon. I think these might be the ones that are ha that you have on special holidays. And they're especially sweet. They're sweeter than most. So they're really good. Okay, so we just finished covering one half of the market. Now we're, ooh, nearly got run over there. Now we're going to cross the street and visit the second half of the market, which continues on the other side of the road. And I've been holding out for sweets, so I really hope I can find some potak when we're there. Another thing I find really amusing is that people are going through the market on motorbikes even though it's a pedestrian only area or so it would seem. So you have to be careful and kind of watch out because they come out of nowhere. Somebody hasn't tired of the rice cakes today. Yeah, sticking with the theme of the rice cakes for this afternoon. <laughs> I tried got another Korean street food snack here. We've got something called tokuchi. So I'm gonna take a bite and then describe it to you after. Mmm. So how this is different from dokbuki is that the sauce is completely different. This is more like a sweet and sour type of chili sauce that's mm -hmm. on top of it. Also, the rice cakes have been cooked differently. They're, they've been obviously cooked a little bit longer and they're crispier, but also still chewy while you're chewing them. So this is almost a, a little bit almost like a dessert snack. So are the rice cakes pan fried then? I think they are. Yeah. Because they are crispy on the outside. So yeah. Really good. And again, this one was only ton won, so less than one US dollar. You Can't know what's kind of funny? With this dish, I had never tried it in Korea, but then when we were yeah. in Kyrgyzstan, your, your first time to try it was in Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan. I had a Korean Kyrgyzstan, restaurant in Kyrgyzstan. A Korean restaurant, so there you go. Which is kind of unusual. I'm gonna go in for more. Mm. So if you had to choose, do you prefer tteokbokki or tteokbokji? They're nothing alike, so it's hard. It's, it's comparing apples with oranges. But right now, I've, I've had quite a bit of savory things, so I'm appreciating the kind of the sweet chili sauce on this. A very diplomatic answer. <laughs> so you're up again. What have you got? I found my favorite all-time Korean street snack. This is called hotok. And it kind of looks like a donut or a really fat pancake. And it's usually filled with brown sugar and pine nuts. Yours is a special cinnamon. one. What's what's yours? This, this is a special one is one. nokcha. So this is green a green tea, tea hotok, which I have never had before. And just looking at it, it looks like it's got like little bits of like green tea, like loose leaf. Yeah, yeah. 
so let's see what it tastes like. Try that. Oh, it's so hot. So piping hot. She just Freshly made it for you. Made. Mm -hmm. Just made that for you. Have you got to the gooey part in the middle yet? I haven't gotten to the gooey part. I don't know if there's a gooey part. Maybe this one's just like sprinkled with. For, first impressions though, is it sweet? It tastes like a sweet donut. So far, so good. I think it may have a filling though. Uh, there we go. So look at that. There you have your brown caramelized sugar, some nuts, a little bit of green tea, loose leaf, cinnamon. It smells amazing. And so you, you, you call it, it, smells, it smells like Christmas, right? I think that's one of the reasons I like it so much. It's just like such a comforting aroma. It smells like Christmas. It's so, so good. And I'm burning myself right now having this, but it's just so good. I don't really want to wait. <laughs> and how much was it? 1,001. Wow, another tone one, so less than a dollar. Mm -hmm. We're just feasting like kings and queens here without paying much at all. We sure are. So someone couldn't resist temptation. He's having some hotel You know too. what? You were kind enough to share, so I really yeah. appreciate that. Because we were supposed to just kind of each get our own things, but let's try it. Mm -hmm. This is definitely my favorite Korean street food dessert snack, like, mm -hmm. bar none. This is so good. I could eat this every day and probably not get sick of it. And we decided we couldn't wait until we get, got home to try the rice cake. I know, so. considering I just had something sweet the whole talk, it was like, I could have a little something else and I've already bought these. So I'm going to dig into the rice cakes. And I wonder... Like, I wonder if the green ones are like green tea flavored or anything like that. Yeah, I think Maybe. The, the white one is going to be sweet and the pink one. I'm not sure about the green one. Let's though. try the pink one. So these are little. They're like mini sized. Let's see what's in them. Mm. It's not red bean paste. It's like a, like a sweet jelly. It's orange, but I have no idea what, what kind? No idea what it is. I've never had this before. Does it taste good? It tastes great, yeah. All right, I'm going. I'm going in for one. Yeah, Look at he's going Here in. comes the hand. <laughs> Let's see if you can decipher the mystery ingredient. It's almost like syrupy. Mmm. Oh yeah. Look at that. Mmm. Those are so good. I um, know. This is so good. I'm having one more. Uh, one more. Open it up. I have a pink one. I think they all have the same filling, though. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's think? delicious. Yeah. So how did you enjoy this market? It was awesome. I really appreciate this market because it's such a local uh, feel as opposed to feeling like a touristy market. Mm -hmm. And that made it a lot of fun. There were people that who were in the market that were curious about what we were doing. Nobody was jaded. Nobody told us, hey, no pictures, no taking video. Everyone was like really into what we were doing. And that was awesome. I think it's just, it's a cool alternative to some of the more popular markets in Seoul. Mm -hmm. And it's just one stop away from Hapjong on the Brown Line. So if you come here, you can go to Mangwon Station and go at exit two. And then it's like five minute walk and you're yeah. here. And you turn left at the yeah. exit and then left again at the next major intersection. Yeah. So it's not far at all. So highly recommend coming here and man, am I ever full.